That's what the digital F3 is about. I was going to call it digital first, but really there's three Fs, first, faster, and fewer. We want to go digital first. Why? Not just to be new with technology, but because if we can use what's called the journal article tagging system, or JATS, J-A-T-S, extensible markup language, XML, that allows all the articles in our issue, in our journal issues, to be published, uh, to be translatable uh, using Google Translate. And Krishna, I think, put a link to the most recent uh, issue. We started this with issue 11.4, and this uh, is how we're going to be moving forward. And our digital production team will be using a process that allows us to use text-based JATS XML, which will then allow this translation process to take place. We also want to go faster, which means we'd like to do it within 60 days. This is a good target for most uh, top tier journals, and we all we are going to have fewer articles per issue. To be clear, this is not because we want to be more selective or because we're trying to get some artificially low acceptance rate. What it is, is we have an all volunteer production team. Most journals will pay expensive publishing houses to produce that PDF quickly. We use an all uh, volunteer team and they can only handle so many articles per year. And if we accept too many manuscripts or we have issues that are too big, it slows down the time to publication. And we wanna keep that within nine months or less once an article is accepted. And so we need to uh, watch out for that. Um, yeah, you can see this with JATS. Some quick numbers to let you know, um, we, uh, our social media following is growing, and then our average monthly users has gone up about 150% in the last two years from, on average, 5,000 users every month. That means 5,000 people log on to the journal every month. That doesn't mean 5,000, we have 150,000 people who read the journal. Um, but we have 12,000 currently active users who are logging on every month, reading our articles uh, and using the journal as a source. 